Hola, I'm Marisol, this Marisol from Butterfly Garden Preserve. So, let's keep talking about math. Let's keep uh, talking and learning and reviewing the beads, the golden beads. I'm going to show you last video we talked about the unit oh, this is your right okay the ten the hundred and the thousand we have these material to introduce them to you know to the golden decimal system in Montessori material the golden beads but to work in the classroom the kids we have these units I'm gonna show you they have color codes they're called the short beads yes we're gonna talk about that we have these tens these are the ones that we use in the classroom these tens it has 10 units so this is a 10 bar that we use and this is our 100 square okay so i'm going to replace these materials with this i don't have another cube so this is the ones that we use but i'm gonna put it away too so we don't get confused so i'm gonna say bye and bye and bye and welcome to these new ones what do we do i'm gonna show you how to make the beads in your house so you guys can start practicing your numbers and making quantities and you can play and um, at home and you can also practice and review the numbers. Okay, first we're gonna talk about the short beads. These short beads is from one to nine. From one to nine and it unit has a code color code okay so the red this is one green this is two I'm gonna start putting them in order pink is three Four, yellow, five, light blue, purple, six, and seven, white, eight, brown, nine, dark blue. And this is how it looks. See, it's like a pyramid. And we call it the short beat stiff. Miss Jesus sent you this paper. It has squares all over. I want you to take your colors. I um, have markers at home. And you're going to start doing your own short beat stiff. One is red, two is green, three is pink, four is yellow, five is light blue, six is purple, seven is white, eight brown, and nine blue. Why do they have color codes? Well, because when you start making quantities, it's going to be so easy to recognize them, and boom, when you take the color codes beads away and you put the other ones you're gonna be so familiar making quantities and counting and it's gonna be super super easy for you when you're done with this coloring what are we gonna do you cut them you cut each bead so you have red one and then you have two 
closer and then we have two and then we have three four five six seven eight and nine so if we put them together like this three, four, five, oops, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so you have your short bead stair homemade. I'm going to put mine away so we can work with this ones. Now, you have them already. This is what you do. You ask your parents or you can do your own numbers and you start connecting them. So, one, one, uh, nine, nine is over here. And add two, two here, and then three, and then cha -ka -cha -tom, eight is the brown one, seven is the white, four is the yellow five and six so you have your numbers i'm going to tell you what we do in the classroom in the classroom this is what the kids they do i write the numbers one two three four five six seven eight and nine they have to color the right color code on each number and they trace the number as many times as they want you can do dots or you can just leave it like that and they trace the number to practice how to write from top to bottom and you start from one and then you color the right color codes and you have them here one is red two is green three is pink four and five and six and seven and eight and now, well, this is a short beat stair, and this is to introduce numbers from one to nine, and be familiar with the colors, okay? So have fun making your own homemade short beat stair. And do not lose them, okay? Because you're gonna need them for the next video, we're going to start making teens and twenties and thirties and forties, okay? Thank you. Adios.